what's up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing the new floors that they added with the latest update up in dlc2 and basically if you don't know they reworked the uh floor dungeon they just made it look uh different it looks more like actual dungeon um they did put some new enemies i think they put some new layouts too uh they seem different to me but most notably is the bosses on certain floors like this one right here i think this is like floor 10 but you can see in the bottom right corner in the start of each clip but uh right here you will end up fighting the kobold lord luckily there are no kobolds with him but this is like one of the uh i guess you can say like mini bosses or just floor bosses um but keep in mind i am doing this on a supreme run so he is level 600 on supreme uh he'll be lower depending on if you're on extreme or just normal so keep that in mind but it also has me wondering how how people are going to get past this uh whenever they have to actually go for these kind of runs but here you can see after we complete it we got a incarnation shard from a chest uh this will be like a new way for people to farm shards which is very good here we got layer 30 and this is going to be the next boss these are where like these floors will be where you farm your shards basically now they're they're amazing for shards here we got gleam eyes luckily he does not do his buff like he does with his uh, apostle version uh whenever you get it to a certain level so you don't have to worry about that at least But another thing is the last boss that you can end up fighting on one of these uh, floors higher up. Uh, they give a really good amount of shards and they can drop every color. Uh, plus there's more chest up there. But if you don't want to go all the way up there, uh, you can just farm the kobold. Granted, it's only one chest and, you know, it's going to be less uh, shards than what you can normally get on 90 and above. But it's still a pretty decent uh, farm if you want to do that. But if you do do it, you will have like the amount of days. Because once you get past a certain floor, you won't have the day counter anymore. But right here, you can see from the chest with Gleam Eyes, we got a weapon. You can get some gear out of these. Uh, as far as I've seen, nothing really too, too great. But you can get some gear out of these. Here we got our next one. Uh, you know, you see this dungeon's mostly green. This is layer 50. And right here, just setting up. Uh, you can. Another thing that's really good about these is you can either buff before you spawn them, or you can just spawn them and then just do your buff. Because you'll be. They'll spawn like right in front of you. But they don't aggro onto you till you like move really, really close to them. Or, uh, you know, you start attacking them. But I think right here the Skull Reaper who's actually aggroing on to me because, you know, he's so, like, his hitbox and everything is so huge. So I was already right there on him. But, uh, luckily for this one, too, um, I did have AoE on. And, you know, luckily I didn't end up hazarding him before I broke his head. So whenever you get up to this part with Skull Reaper, if you've never gotten his, uh, evolved form, whenever you're fighting him as his Apostle version, Keep in mind, he will have a buff that will make your damage way less on him. And what you have to do is you got to break his head first before you even go to down him or hazard him. So keep that in mind for anybody going through this for the first time. Because if you don't, then you're going to have to wait to the next, you know, uh, buff cycle or just whenever you can down him again. Because you will practically do no damage to him. That, that, that buff he has is insane. But right here, we almost went down to uh, change could have been better. But there we go, we finished him off. And here, this is where you'll get the three chests, I believe. Or not three, two. So right here, we get two chests. Got 15 L shards from that. And then I got eight M shards. So pretty nice haul right there, too. If you want to farm that, personally, I wouldn't farm him. Now here, once you get up to the part where you fight the last Lord, you actually have to use the teleport point to go back down 
to reach the uh, the 70, the floor 70 version of uh, the boss floor. Because once you end up going to, uh, once you end up beating the third lord, it just puts you automatically up here after a bit. So it'll actually skip this floor for you, but so you have to teleport down. But right here, actually, I think is where the, you get the three chests to spawn. And this whole dungeon layout is mostly just purple. Purple uh, looks to it. But right here, we have the Reaper. Level 752, but uh, these guys, I mean, I, I do have, like, you know, Night Sky and the Stainless Steel 99 and then the, the, uh, the Floor Dungeon Steel Riding Armor, but um, I think with two Stainless Steels, uh, people should be fine for this. Um, two Stainless Steels and even with a uh, Supreme Steel Riding Armor, they should be fine. You know, you'll just have to... You have to compromise with what you have, you know, if you can do it. Because if you're going into a Supreme playthrough and you're going this high up to go, like, fight Robin or something like that, you're, you you need to be prepared anyway. But right here, got some M shards, 10. We got 18 M shards right there. And then we got another 18 M shards. So you can even farm him right there if you want to, but you'll have only 10 days. Well, technically nine since you teleport down. And right here we have the last one that you can fight, floor 90. This one looks really cool. I love the look at this boss. For people who want to farm it, keep in mind you're only gonna have rogue goo for this because you have to stay in the dungeon and UGO and Alice will leave. So right here, we have the boss from the ending of the uh, Forget-Me-Not DLC. And he looks really cool with his color scheme. But at least their hazard isn't bad as well. Their hazard is not bad compared to uh, the Ancient Apostles, especially the last four. Right here, he's level 800, so he's very close to almost max level. But right there beat him and again you'll have the three chests and uh he will give the most shards that you can really get so for anybody who makes it up to this point this is where you're going to want to farm shards and it's good too because you have no time limit so you can stay up here as long as you want and yeah just keep in mind though uh do not go up so right over there where you see me heading do not go to that teleport up there because if you go up a floor, or technically down, um, you cannot go back down to that floor. So what you have to do is go to uh, this save crystal, or the other one back there. Uh, I would suggest going to the other one, that way you don't have to run as far. But what you have to do is save and return to the title screen, then load up your save again, then fight him, and then just open the chest, and then do it again. So you just fight save quit fight save quit just do that over and over and i think from what i've read up in like uh the discord server uh to keep these you have to beat robin at the end uh i think that's what they were saying i was kind of vaguely reading it while i was at work so i could be wrong uh i don't know if you can just abandon it and then you'll keep them or if you actually have to do the robin but i'll probably put it down in the comment below so those are the new dungeon looks a little bit uh, that you can see right there. Those are the new boss, well, technically not really new bosses, but those are the floor bosses that you can do to farm uh, some shards. And yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.